I discovered the weirdest Lego eBay listing that I've ever seen. Now, right here, whenever I was skimming through this, this is when stuff gets really, really weird. So listen to this. Today you will witness the most extreme case of cursed Lego. In order to truly understand the crazy story behind this Lego brick, be sure to watch this entire video all the way through so you do not miss out on any crucial parts. And also, if you guys could just take two seconds to leave a like on this video, I would greatly appreciate it. Also, according to YouTube, only 12% of my viewers are subscribed to my channel. I'm not sure what you guys are all waiting for because subscribing is completely free and notifications will prevent you from missing part 2 of this series. You've never seen anything like this before. Enjoy. Hey guys, what's going on? Spipbrix here, back for another LEGO video, and today I discovered the weirdest LEGO eBay listing that I've ever seen. I mean, this thing is just really, really crazy. Re read the title here. Rare LEGO brick found in an abandoned building, and I think it is cursed. Okay, so right off the bat, you know, a few things that really pop out to me. Number one, the seller thinks it's cursed. Uh, I mean, I guess I'm interested in learning more, that's for sure. Uh, it's found in an abandoned building, so maybe like an old Lego brick. I believe that it has the old Lego logo on it. If you look at it here, yes, it certainly does. Now, what's interesting with this is that he's got an entire story behind it, and it's really, really interesting. I glanced over it before I started recording here, and honestly, I caught so many things. It was just super interesting. We'll read it in just a few minutes. It's used, obviously, he found it. Uh, $1, which I thought was kind of funny. Super cheap. He's trying to get rid of this brick. Um, I, he thinks it's cursed or something. I don't really know. We'll, we'll learn a little bit more as we read on because it, it gets really interesting. Uh, also, I thought it was kind of funny that the shipping is almost three times as much as the actual brick that you're buying. Uh, from Montana, that's where the seller is selling it from. His name is Miller Loan. He has two feedback scores in which he has 100% positive feedback. I mean, I mean, I guess that gives him a little bit of credibility, but hey, this is this is crazy. There's a bunch of different pictures down here, which we'll look at in just a little bit, as well as this picture here of this sort of like broken abandoned building, which is, I guess, maybe he, where he found it in Montana, I believe it says in his little, little story down below, in which, speaking of which, I think we should probably go ahead and read what he has sort of attached to this listing here, just to get a little bit more context for this cursed Lego brick. Okay, so anyways, down here, we're going to start reading here because, I've, like I said, I skimmed over it and it's, it's really interesting. So he starts off by saying, Hello, potential buyer. I can assume that you have many questions about this peculiar item, so let me explain. Yes, we definitely do. I'm going to refer to the seller as Miller, as his name is Miller Loan in his sort of like, you know, username for eBay. So just heads up for that. He says that I have a side hobby as a photographer slash blogger. And a few months ago, I discovered a building, which I believe to be an abandoned hospital nearby a small town in rural Montana, USA, which we know that as we could see from the very top here, he is being shipped from Montana. So we can assume that's probably where he does his exploring where he possibly lives as well. He continues by saying, I wasn't too surprised to discover an unlocked door and some broken windows, which, let's be honest, that's what a lot of abandoned buildings are. And when I went inside, I found the abandoned hospital littered with garbage, broken chairs, graffiti, and toys. Now, that's kind of interesting. Perhaps this was a children's hospital from the late 1900s, I'm really not sure. It may have even been transformed into a daycare at some point, which, to be honest, that would be a very plausible explanation for why he says here that there were toys littered all over the floor. Uh, he says, I can't say for sure. You can imagine how creepy this place felt. I mean, I'd be creeped out also. It's just kind of like trapped in space and time. All those just toys on the floor. That's, that's kind of crazy. He says, I left pretty quickly after a few pics or pictures, but I managed to obtain this Lego brick that was lying by the entrance door. Now, he continues on by saying, I mainly photographed the rooms, however, I took a quick picture of the front uh, from my car before I left, and see picture above, in which, let's check that out right now. So here is this image that he's referring to, and you guys can definitely see some, well, boarded up and broken windows, and I assume probably an open door, maybe even in the back or something. Uh, pretty creepy, to be honest. Abandoned buildings are definitely kind of sketchy, but hey, props to this guy to actually, like, explore it, I guess? I don't, I don't really know. 
Anyways, he says, Upon further inspection and my personal research, this plastic brick, basically, you know, Lego brick here, appears to be from the early days of Lego. It's weird to think that this brick has been played with by kids who are probably now in their 40s to 60s these days, as in, you know, they're like their age. But what's even weirder is the fact that one of the Lego logos is stamped on it upside down. Okay, so that's a big kicker here. Maybe that's why you put rare in the title here because it appears let's see maybe this image here would give us yes there we go we can see that one of those that one right there is actually flipped the other way or it's stamped the other way that's very interesting so this is basically an error piece which i don't know how often this happened but this kind of reminds me of a video that i actually did over on my second channel about a month ago i'd say now i actually had bought this white lego brick from a seller on ebay in which it had an extra set of logos running perpendicular to the regular logos on each of the brick studs. So, interesting video. You guys can check that one out if you're looking for something else to watch after this one. But anyways, let's go ahead and continue on. Let's see, where were we? Uh, right here, okay. The fact that I picked up this exact brick is very creepy. I'm certainly not a toy expert by any means, however, this looks like it could be a very rare mistake. I've never seen one like it. I don't know if it's, you know, personally knowing, you know, about Lego bricks. I don't know if it's super crazy rare, but he's selling it for one dollar. He really isn't trying to make a crazy profit off of it. Anyways, kind of interesting. Uh, he says that I've always enjoyed photography adventures, but something about this brick is off. Now, right here, whenever I was skimming through this, this is when stuff gets really, really weird. So, listen to this. He says, I'm not sure what. Superstition? Maybe. I don't believe in ghosts, usually. But something about this Lego brick is really wigging me out, wigging me out. It feels haunted, almost. I don't know. I don't want it near me anymore, even with its unique story. Now, to be honest, considering this a unique story is, I think, a little bit of an understatement. This is more like a crazy story. Anyways, let's continue on here. Since this brick has such a deep history behind it, I thought some collector may find it interesting. Please note that I'm not responsible for any spooky stuff, in quotation marks, it may do when you receive it, or whatever, quote, ancient powers it may have. Contact me if you have any questions. Well, I mean, I kind of have some questions, but... Who really knows if he'd actually be able to answer them. He says, thanks for reading, Miller Loan. So that is kind of the overall story behind it, which honestly is pretty absurd. It's hard to say if I believe it completely or not, but I think that for a dollar and for a bit of shipping, this may make, you know, some good entertainment to more specifically number one to see how this seller packages the brick and number two actually be able to get a hands-on unboxing experience of this supposed cursed brick hopefully it doesn't have some bad luck attached to it i'm gonna buy it but we need to get some serious support on this video so if you guys have not already liked this video go and leave a like we need at least a thousand likes to actually be able to open this up on camera whenever i receive it because i'm not opening up a potentially cursed lego brick if there isn't some support for the series here. So leave a like, 1,000 likes, and I will unbox this whenever I receive it. All right, so let's go ahead and we'll buy it now. I'll put in my information and details and stuff, and I'll come back with the order confirmation. Be right back. All right, I have successfully paid for this cursed Lego brick. In total, we paid $4.21. And uh, yeah, I guess we will now wait and see. Hopefully it doesn't bring some like bad luck or something. But let me know down below in a comment if you would have bought this cursed Lego brick or if you are just excited to see what happens next. If you are new to the channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and notification bell so you guys do not miss out on any of these upcoming episodes for this series because I have a feeling that we may have some interesting conversations. I'm even thinking of maybe messaging the seller and seeing if we can get some more information from him. If you guys want to see that, comment down below the phrase message the lego brick seller if you guys want to see a dedicated video where i try and reach out to this brick seller here or this photographer miller here and see if we can get some more information on it see if there have been any events that have happened or exactly why he decided to sell it in the first place if you have any predictions or thoughts regarding this cursed lego brick you guys can leave them in the comments down below i always read my comments and i'm interested to see what y'all think of this situation could this brick really be unlucky or haunted? And was it a bad idea to purchase this brick? 
Well, I guess we'll have to wait and find out. Of course, like I said, if we can reach 1,000 likes, I would do an unboxing of this brick whenever I do receive it. And I think that is going to wrap up today's video. Be sure to check out one of the videos on screen right now in order to watch more LEGO content. And as always, have a great day, and I'll see you guys in the next video coming very soon.